Well, Thursday's reopening at the Pine Ridge VA Clinic was a step in creating better health care services for veterans in rural areas. But one clinic reopening has caused some to worry about another's closure. The Pine Ridge VA Clinic had suspended in-person care for nearly four years. Veterans looking for care relied on telehealth services or a lengthy drive to Hot Springs. Now that services are back up and running, many veterans were concerned that this would cause a complete closure of the Hot Springs Clinic, which had faced uncertainty for years. Senator Mike Brown said in recent talks with the Deputy Secretary of the VA, it's been made clear there is no plan to close that clinic. Hot Springs will remain open. That's according to their plans right now. They're actually putting additional money into remodeling facilities down there. The scope may change as we refocus down there long term. We have a real need in the rural areas to, to be able to assist folks who literally have challenges long term. Rounds noted, while this news is good, the VA has shortcomings in other areas, specifically rural care. He said the issues are caused by internal conflicts in the VA about whether they are to put the needs of the veterans or the institution first. That's where we have our conflicts, that's where we have our problems, and that's where the veteran gets sometimes left behind, particularly in rural areas. We've been fighting like heck to make sure that those veterans, even in rural areas, can access health care and do it in a timely fashion and not have to travel, you know, 70, 80, 100 miles to get the care they need. Ron says one way he wants to seek care for veterans expand is to allow veterans to seek care outside of VA specific clinics if it's easier, more convenient, and more importantly, can give them better and more specific care.